It's not about getting the badge. It's to having an expert soldier in your field, uh, regardless of what your MOS is. The first day of testing started with the expert physical fitness assessment, and that consisted of a one mile run and 30 push-ups, a 100 meter sprint, 16 sandbag lifts onto a five and a half foot platform, 25 meter water can carry, and then a 50 meter individual movement technique, so high crawl and then 35 second rush, and then it finished off with another one mile run. Go. All day of a physical assessment, day land nav, night land nav, four hours of sleep, now you go to one day weapons, one day patrolling, and one day medical. And there's very little room for error, which also causes a lot of stress. The hardest part of the EIB is definitely the physical weight of the fear of failure. Try cover, squeeze the cover, latches, and open the feet. Try cover, assembly, upwards to open it. And the two week train up for me was a lot of reps, getting hands on and, and studying to ensure that I was ready to, to treat my casualties when the time came. Lots of tedious memorization and uh, attention to detail. It was hard work that paid off, so I'm pretty excited about it. Do you know your warrior task and battle drills at a level, you know, to be an expert? And I think the goal is that, you know, when you look across and look at your leaders and look at your first sergeant or battalion CSM, they either have one of those three badges. I am Captain Kara Adams. I am Lieutenant Colonel Bingham. I am Sergeant First Class Morgan Hicks. I am Specialist Holton. I'm a Big Red One Soldier. I'm a Big Red One Soldier. And I earned my Expert Field Medical Badge. And I earned my Expert Field Medical Badge. And I earned my Expert Soldier Badge. And I earned my Expert Infantryman Badge.